The internet has been the most exciting medium among all other forms of mass media, because of its diversified services and constant development. Social networking, which are closely tied to the internet, have had a strong influence on people and society, and have changed their habits and behavior. While most people hold positive opinions about social networking, there are some negative views as well. Many people think social networking is good for several reasons. It is a fast and efficient way of communication that helps people to keep in touch with friends and family by sharing photos and using various apps, such as instant messaging. It has become the preferred way of interaction for young people because of its speed, convenience, and wide range of functions. People who want to see the person they are talking to online can easily do that by using a video chat app. Those who want to learn a new language like social networking, because they can be exposed to authentic language, use and connect with native speakers online. People who want to express their thoughts and opinions, and share information with their friends or followers can do that via either microblogging, or taking part in online discussion forums. Those who want to relax and escape from reality can access a huge store of online games, music and videos in different genres. On the other hand, there are many people who think that social networking can expose users to inappropriate contents, and even cyberbullying. Some people complain that it is annoying to encounter repeated themes across sites. Some say they cannot sense the emotion or enthusiasm from the other person, because there is no face-to-face -face communication. Many think social networking can be addictive and time-consuming, if users spend most of their day on useless microblogging, or become obsessed with the private lives of other people. Many parents complain that their children spend a lot of time on social networking sites, and are distracted from their schoolwork and social life by doing homework less and spending less time with friends and family. A lot of teachers think microblogging can promote laziness and poor writing skills because students tend to post very short messages and rely heavily on the internet as their source of information. These are some of the many negative views on social networking. In conclusion, social media has become popular and helpful in today's society, and has a great impact on all aspects of life. However, people's opinions about its benefits differ because of their experiences, social background and age. It is clear that social media comes with great responsibility, and people should fully understand the risks before they start using this modern tool.